Hey there, it's Amelia, and in today's video, let's review how to install and use the Chrome extension called Speak It to convert text to speech in the Chrome browser. This will allow you to select any text and then it will read it to you out loud. First, let's go to the Chrome Web Store to locate the extension. I'll just go ahead and click in the search box on Google and select Chrome Web Store. Once you reach the web store, click in the search box and type Speak It. Look for the extension Speak It Text to Speech for Chrome. Go ahead and click on it and you'll be able to see the overview, some screenshots and reviews and so forth. When you're ready to install it, click Add to Chrome. Momentarily, it will be added to your browser. Once installed, an additional tab will open with the various settings for Speak It. In Playback Settings, in the Text to Speech Engine dropdown, there's additional voices that you can select from. It will default to this Speak It voice, and to test it out, there's a testing option here, and you just click on this little speaker, this is a test text for Google Chrome extension called Speak It. And we'll change the voice in a moment. I'm going to test it out in another browser window and then we'll return here and check out a different voice. You can also change the default volume level. You can set up a keyboard shortcut and check out some of the other settings. So to test it out, first I'd like to make sure that I can easily get to this extension by adding it to my bar, pinning it up here. So if you don't see this little speaker icon automatically here, just click on the icon for extensions. And then for Speak It, I'll click on the little pin icon here. And if you ever want to unpin it, you can click on the uh, three little dots here to unpin it and so forth. Okay, so now that it's available, here, let's flip over to an article. I'll select some text, and then all you have to do is select the text and just click on the speaker icon. I'm gonna increase my volume to make sure that you can hear it here. And I'll just click on the speaker icon. What's the difference between device storage and iCloud storage? Learn the difference between your device and iCloud storage ways to manage your space and where to buy more if you run out. You can click here anytime to pause it or continue with play or restart. Now, if you don't have the options open automatically, to, if it's the first time you're installing it, in fact, I'll go ahead and close the settings. If you wanna return back to the settings, just right click on the icon that you've pinned up here and select options. So back in settings in the text-to-speech engine in the drop-down, let's go ahead and change that to Microsoft David Desktop English. Now you see some additional options. In addition to being able to change the volume level, you can also change the speed or rate of the voice as well as the pitch. And I'm just gonna up the volume so you can hear it pretty high. And the rate, I'm just going to change that just a little bit. And now let's see the result. I'll flip it back over to the same article. And this time I'll select a couple different sentences and select Speak It from here. The music you buy, the apps you download, the photos you take, and all of the other content that you enjoy on your device uses its storage. So as you can see, it's a little faster. Let me go back to settings now and make that a little slower. And I'll change the voice again. And let's just see the effect now. The music you buy, the apps you download, the photos you take, and all of the other content that you enjoy on your device uses its storage. And depending on your device capacity and how much content you have, your device can fill up and run out of storage. 
So you can see that depending on the voice, you may need to experiment with the rate as well as the pitch. So that's all there is to it to use the Chrome extension Speak It to convert text to speech in your Chrome browser. If you enjoyed this video, remember to click like and click the red subscribe button so you won't miss any new videos. Bye now.